What's going on guys? It's Wombro. I hope your day is going well. And we are now two days away from the three promo pack, three winners giveaway hosted by me and Sasha, the legend. If you haven't entered yet, there is a link in the description where you can. In today's video, it is something I've noticed that is all the hype lately. I see most talking about in the discord. We are talking about item packs and what you should buy. I've briefly covered items in my previous videos, but now it's time to dive deep into this topic. What are item packs? They are the source of where you get items for your wombat. There are different rarities. Some item packs, in fact, are nearly impossible to obtain on the market, such as these promo packs for the giveaway right here. Aside from buying items directly on the atomic market, Item packs give you a chance to unpack something of high rarity at a low price with low risk. I have seen many friends unpack some of the greatest mythic items in the game, and I'm here to help with giving you a better understanding of probability percentage for pull rates with certain item packs. I will be discussing three different item packs. These packs are readily available, obtainable through chest, and can also be blended into higher rarity packs. I won't be going over Wombatium blending with packs, but you can learn about it in the store while playing the game. Also, a very easy way to get the item pack to get to the item pack marketplace is by going to your item pack inventory and tap the marketplace button below. Before I start, I will be mixing my usual news I give in my intro with the discussion of item packs. Sasha has allowed me to show you the following packs that are supposed to come out in season three. And I was one of the select few who defined mining power for season three in a separate chat room with Sasha and Vin. Kind of a spoiler. Okay. So the first pack I will discuss is the standard pack. It comes with two items. It has a 1% chance to pull a leggy and a 0.01 chance for a mythic. This is the lowest end of item packs. It's common to get one in your daily chest. I would suggest not to buy this pack. I think everyone agrees the items in this pack aren't the best, but you can always blend the items which I have talked previously about. The second type of item pack is the silver pack. It comes with three items. It has a 12.5% chance to pull an epic, 4% chance to pull a leggy, and a 1% chance for a mythic. This pack also common to get in your daily chest. If you are the average consumer, I highly suggest silver packs. Right now, I'd say they are selling for a good price, and the overall chances are relatively good. This is the highlight of the video. And the last item I would like to talk about is the gold pack. It comes with a heaping lot of five items, and you are guaranteed five rare items or higher. It has a 35% chance to pull a rare, 55% chance for an epic, 7% chance for a leggy, and a 3% chance for mythic. These are uncommon to get in your chest, but it is possible. I've opened only one and got some really good items out, out of it. Excuse me. The gold pack, in my opinion, would be the ideal pack to buy simply because of its pull rates. Those were the three packs I wanted to go in depth with. I will now continue showing the new and upcoming packs for season three and I really like the new art on every pack. I'll also read what Sasha described for each pack. So this is a promo pack for Season 3. 1,000 max supply. Will be handed out as promo and in raffles. Same percent probability for items as the old promo packs. Beta basic pack. There will be 500 for 50 wax each and 600 more via booster boxes. You can compare them to the alpha basic packs from this season. Beta diamond pack follows the alpha diamond pack. This had 750 and will be nerfed to 600. There will be 100, 500 wax each, and 200, 240 more via booster boxes. Then there's the beta dark matter pack. Hi, Vin. It follows the alpha dark matter pack that had 10k and will be... 7777 in the next season. Platinum pack season 3. Only available via blend. No platinum pack yet discovered. Old season 7500. Next season 5500. Booster beta 
Box Classic contains 12 beta basic packs, 50 max supply, 500 wax each. And this is all of the packs and the new mining power they will get. Um, if you want to pause it so you can see it all, but this is what Sasha was um, allowing me to show. So, um, yeah, that was the new packs. And in conclusion, silver and gold packs are the two main item packs I suggest you purchase with your hard-earned cash. Additionally, I will say, if you have a starting investment for item packs, I would recommend buying just one gold pack and the rest silver if you have that much balance. Other than that, silver packs are the way to go. And that is the video for my analysis on item packs. I hope this helped you understand better and you will know what to buy when the time comes. But if you, the viewer, would also like to share your opinion on what item packs you should buy or the community should buy, please put it in the comments. I'm interested to know. I will end this video with saying thank you to my subscribers for all the support. I really appreciate it. Things are really rolling as season two comes to a close. I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.